Hi everyone, I'm Shafila from Now and Me, and today we're going to talk about self-care. Self-care is probably one of the most important and most popular phrases that come up when we are talking about emotional well-being or taking care of our mental health. I think it comes down to three important pillars. First, listen to your body. Building a trustworthy relationship with your body is of utmost importance. For some people, warm baths are the answer, and for some, it is just having a conversation with your body. Whatever works for you, the idea and the most important part is to build a relationship with your body. Second, boundaries, boundaries, boundaries. To create boundaries, to uphold them and understand them is a primary need when it comes to understanding self-care. Boundaries with regards to people in our lives, with time, with work, anything and everything which is a significant aspect of your life, having boundaries becomes important for that relationship to be healthy. Whatever boundaries mean to you, defining is one good way for us to include self-care in our daily lives. And third, get some sunlight and slight movement in your day. There is a lot of research on how exercise or movement helps us in alleviating feelings of depression. And we mostly end up looking at high intensive trainings or a proper workout regimen for it. But the fact is, any little step is a great step ahead. Sunlight, an important source of vitamin D, is an important resource for us to include in our daily lives. Every little bit counts. Whether it is a 10 minute walk or a complete getaway from the place you are living in, what helps you is something that you have to decide. The first step is to just make sure that self-care is something that you actually think about and incorporate in your lives. I hope you are taking care of yourself. Bye-bye.